In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize an image in GIMP that's suitable for a web page. So this is a problem that a lot of people do when they um, update their websites, is they'll just take a photo with their camera or their phone, and then they'll just upload it directly to the website and resize it up there. That's not a good idea because the image is still really large in file size, so it takes a long time to download, especially on a mobile phone. So let's go ahead and do it. Open up GIMP, go File, Open, and then choose an image. I'm just going to use this one here. It's actually not that big, 980. Um, and what we do to resize it is we go Image, and we go Scale Image, and then we change its dimensions. So as an example, a good size for an image on a web page is 400 pixels wide. And because that lock is on, that will automatically change that number. And um, the DPI, the X resolution and Y resolution, 72 is fine. Um, 96 is better. Um, if it's 300, that's more of a print quality, so you don't really need it. So I'm going to leave it as 72, and that's fine. And we go scale, and now we've got the smaller image there. And if we just zoom in on that, you can see it's not bad, but now you export it. And what I do is if it's a small image on the website, I'll put thumb in front of it. So um, I know that it's the smaller image. So then if I want, I can put a link on top of it where that opens the larger image. It's also really important to use keywords that you want Google to find the image. So let's say it's one of your products that was uh, a tractor. You'd put the tractor name and model number in there because that'll help Google find your page. And so we go export. 90% um, is fine, that'll keep the file size very low. So if we go export, that's just exported it. So now what I'll do is I'll show you the file size. And we'll go pictures. So we can see there that the thumbnail is only 12K, whereas the larger image was 37K. Um, if it's coming directly off your phone or your camera, it's probably going to be more like 100K or even up to a megabyte, depending on the type of camera you're using. So it is really important to resample it down or rescale it down so it loads quickly. But that's how you resize an image in GIMP.